Hey, and thank you to everyone for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be going over and uh, doing an overview of the Meridian product line from Accruent. And just a quick look at our agenda. Kind of one, one slide overview of Hegerman and Company, uh, overview of Accruent and the Meridian product line, and then we'll get into an actual demonstration of Meridian, and then as I actually mentioned, we'll follow up with question and answers. And I think we've got people uh, from a variety of industries joining us here today, uh, both some um, more industrial or manufacturing background, others from a uh, facilities or campus background, uh, everything we're going to be showing and talking about applies and works uh, in all those backgrounds. So if you, you know, see some terminology, some documents uh, that may not pertain to your particular line of work, um, can disregard that. But all of the features and capabilities of Meridian will really work for everyone here today. A uh, quick background on Hagerman and Company. We've been around a long time. We've been in business 34 years, constant ownership and management. Some of you joining us may already be well aware of Hagerman and worked for us for a number of years. Uh, others might be new. Uh, we have offices covering the entire United States uh, and also do projects outside the U.S. as well. And we've been doing data management projects like Meridian for over 23 years. 1,200 successful customer projects. Accruent is the company that owns the Meridian software, and they are a company dedicated to software and technology to help companies manage their physical resources, whether that's plant, equipment, offices, uh, other capital equipment and then Meridian is part of their product line in order to do that. And as you can see, Accruent uh, works out with a lot of companies, so you can see the huge uh, value of assets, uh, people, square footage, and documents that their customers are managing with Accruent products. And some of the workplace challenges out there that Meridian helps customers address, you can see those here from um, managing and maintaining regulatory compliance, uh, lack of agility, doing more with less, handling increasingly complex data, dealing with issues of knowledge retention and aging and retiring workforces, managing change, and then effectively working with a, a workforce that's more and more distributed and mobile. So those may be some of, kind of the hot buttons or challenges that your organization is dealing with. And we've got a quick two minute video that gives an overview of how Meridian addresses some of these particular challenges and then we'll continue on with the rest of the, the presentation. Your mission is to operate as efficiently, safely, and economically as possible. But problems often get in the way. Unplanned shutdowns, rework, accidents, non-compliance, equipment failure, and more. The impact these problems have on your organization can be huge. Millions of dollars in lost revenue, fines and lawsuits, danger to workers, environmental disasters, public safety concerns, and serious damage to your organization's reputation. Our mission is to make sure these problems don't get in the way of you achieving your mission. We provide software to manage your information throughout the asset life cycle. This helps your organization to be in control by creating a single source of truth that centralizes data and knowledge, compliance by managing data integrity for reduced risk and proof of control for easy audits, aligned 
by empowering collaboration that connects your enterprise, including managing concurrent engineering, external contractors, and data handovers. Informed by leveraging reports and dashboards to analyze performance and make better decisions. We also provide the flexibility to work how you want, storing data in the cloud or on a server, and working at your desktop or on your mobile phone or tablet. Built on 30 years of specialized knowledge and experience, Meridian is the preferred solution for leaders in a broad range of asset-intensive industries worldwide. It is currently trusted by more than 1,200 companies to manage over $1.5 trillion of assets. Empowering the asset life cycle today. All right. I thought that uh, did a nice job of quickly hitting uh, the hot buttons and a big picture 10,000 foot overview of some of the challenges and answers that Meridian provides. And one of the key things with Meridian we're really going to hit on is, you know, the theme of seamless integration, uh, providing a broad array of features from general document management, integrating with and managing CAD data, support for engineering and construction projects, easy 24-7 search view print interface for your operations and maintenance staff, collaborating with outside parties on projects, and then linking of documents to related assets. Meridian gives you a platform to tie all this together in one system, um, rather than having files and data for these different tasks spread over multiple different information silos. <clears throat> Continuing the theme, from seamless integration in terms of, you know, Meridian controlling everything in in one repository, you know, seamlessly managing, linking both release drawings and documents and, pro, uh, and project and work in process files between office staff and operations personnel, between internal staff and external contractors and engineers, and between your equipment and asset records or maintenance system and the related files. Again, everything seamlessly tied together in Meridian. Then in terms of the flexibility, which is one of the, the themes that we uh, talked about here in the invitation to the webinar, in terms of how you deploy Meridian is very flexible. We'll be looking at uh, the Meridian Enterprise solution, uh, which is an installed on-premise solution, which could either be, you know, in your office or your company data center, or uh, Meridian Enterprise could be installed on a server uh, that you've deployed in, like, in an Amazon data center. <clears throat> Meridian can also be deployed in the cloud uh, as a uh, software as a service solution where you don't have to install it and manage it. It's just instant on. And then your Meridian clients can be uh, desktop-based software, browser-based software, or and or mobile devices. So again, very flexible in terms of how you, of how you deploy and access Meridian. And then kind of getting into um, just kind of taking a look at all of the industries. These are some of the major industries where Meridian is widely used. You can see oil and gas, utilities, chemical, pharmaceuticals, mining, um, EPCs, transport, food and beverage, pulp and paper, government, higher uh, education, hospitals, telecom, airports, and banks or financial institutions. So Meridian is really um, broadly used across a variety of uh, companies who need to manage a lot of assets or buildings, office space, facilities, etc. Now the products that we're going products and platforms we're going to be taking a look at here. Meridian Enterprise, as I mentioned, is the installed uh, 
customer or consultant like Hagerman and Company installed and configured solution. Meridian Cloud Business uh, has the same basic features and capabilities as Meridian Enterprise, except you can deploy it as a cloud or a SaaS-based version of Meridian Enterprise. Uh, Meridian Cloud Business, uh, because of the nature of it, it is somewhat less configurable than Meridian Enterprise. And then we'll also be taking a look at Meridian Cloud Project, which is a cloud or SaaS-based project collaboration tool. And Meridian Cloud Project can be deployed either standalone or on a completely integrated basis with Meridian Enterprise or Cloud Business. Uh, just digging a little bit deeper into some of the, you know, the main features, functions, and benefits. Uh, you know, as we mentioned, Meridian gives you a single platform to centrally uh, control and manage your data, documents, co uh, company knowledge. Meridian, uh, with your documents, Meridian gives you full capability for uh, versioning, managing revision histories, complete audit trails and audit logs in terms of all accessing of those documents. Meridian also gives you capability of managing change or business process workflows on those documents or packages of documents. And of course, all of this leads to helping you maintain compliance with whatever government or industry uh, certifications and standards that your organization needs to be maintaining, including things like e-signatures, watermarks, print stamps on documents. Uh, Meridian is very flexible in terms of how it handles access rights and roles. And that's one of the big advantages of using something like Meridian over and above managing Windows for documents so you can see you can define different user roles and then control exactly what users in each one of those roles can do. Uh, Meridian is also very big on integrating like with maintenance management systems in this case SAP, where from an SAP screen where you like got an equipment or an asset record, click a button, and then Meridian will bring up all of the documents related to that asset or piece of equipment. And here you can see some of the off-the-shelf integrations that are part of Meridian for 2D, 3D CAD, Office, email applications, enterprise asset management, and ERP solutions. All of the actions that take place in Meridian that may require actions from other downstream people can tie into your email system so people are notified through your messaging system uh, with instructions and then links to the records in Meridian. We'll take, <coughs> excuse me, we'll take a nice look at all the searching capabilities in Meridian to be able to quickly search and retrieve any files or records including doing that from uh, barcodes and QR codes, which uh, that's something we'll talk about with Meridian Mobile. And reports, dashboards, all that is part of Meridian, you know, to give your users the information they need to do their jobs. Now, Meridian Mobile, more and more of our customers are adopting mobile devices, uh, especially for people, uh, for field staffs, maintenance staffs, uh, where they want a device that they can take out into the field, the office, the plant, and access documents and data right where they're needing to do that particular work. So Meridian Mobile ties directly into your Meridian system and so you can directly access your Meridian Vault from iOS, Android, Windows 10 devices, Walmart 
maintaining full uh, security and authentication and be able from those mobile devices to see their to-do list, look at document properties, look at uh, PDF renditions or the actual source documents, uh, be able to print them, view as you can see, zoom in, send the document to a printer, again, all from a mobile device. And also on those mobile devices, you know, receive email task notification, uh, be able to perform those tasks um, so that everything is kept up, you're, they're kept up with the latest information. Also, field people can uh, search and find asset records, and then from the asset record, be able to access all the documents related to that asset or piece of equipment. And if they are going to some place where they're not going to have a network connection, that information can be downloaded, taken offline, so they can still access it. And again, all the same searching is available on the mobile device, but also on mobile devices. They will uh, work with QR codes and barcodes. So somebody can go out to a piece of equipment, and if it's tagged with a bar or QR code, they can simply scan that with their mobile device and then pull up all of the documents and data related to that. Just a quick overview on the Meridian port project portal, which again can operate either standalone or fully synchronized with Meridian Enterprise or Cloud Business. Meridian Portal is designed to operate in the cloud, software as a service, so that both internal personnel or EPC firms you work with, suppliers, customers, contractors, subcontractors, can access information from it, or if they're doing design work or supplying equipment for you, they can upload information to the portal. Then if you're using it in conjunction with Meridian Enterprise or Cloud Business, the portal offers two-way synchronization with Meridian. So if an outside engineering firm submits some design or equipment documents to the portal, they can't, <coughs> excuse me, they can't automatically synchronize down to on-premise Meridian where your internal staff can perform reviews. <clears throat> so again, the, the portal, with portal, everything is organized by project. So it allows you to manage a portfolio of projects, control the documents for those projects that you're uh, sharing with outside parties, automatically distribute them as needed, perform online reviews, uh, get audits, perform audits and do reports, and then be able to upload and download documents from the portal as needed. And with the portal, you know, it's not just an, like an FTP site to upload and download files from, it really supports a collaborative project workflow so you can go in and see the status of each package of documents and each individual document in the portal to make sure that all the proper uh, reviews and approvals have been done before they're actually then you know, released as new master or as built documents. And some quick screenshots from the portal, although uh, you'll see it demonstrated live here in a bit. You know, again, as we mentioned, everything in the portal is organized by project. So when you go in, 
you're presented with a screen that shows you all of the ongoing projects that you have, and then you can go into each individual project and see who you have assigned or allowed access to that project, and then what role they've been assigned with the project. And then with the portal, any work that's assigned to a person, the portal sends out email notifications. So when somebody has uh, some documents to review or when they've been invited to join a project, they are informed through their standard email system. Also in the portal, documents are organized into packages or another term might be transmittals. So kind of the hierarchy is you've got projects and within those projects, you are uploading and downloading uh, packages of documents. And then of course, each package is made up of a collection of individual documents. So here we can see information on a document transmittal package overall. Then we can see a list of all the documents that are in it and then take action such as viewing on each individual document. Any packages that are created or sent, the portal automatically generates transmittal records and forms that go along with the package. Uh, you've got the ability to upload and download documents from your local system, whether it be um, you know, Windows Server or computers or uh, Meridian. And then send out transmittals or packages for different purposes, which you can tag. And here we've got a review package, and then the portal will track the status of, you know, who's the lead reviewer, who are all the required reviewers on the project, and whether or not they have completed their review task or not. And then uh, viewing and markups on individual documents in PDF format can be performed in the portal. And then also we'll, we'll see it here in a bit. Uh, going back to on-premise Meridian, or this could be Meridian Cloud Business, documents under change in the main Meridian system, those changes can be processed in-house. Or here you can see an example of a workflow that if we take this document or packages of documents in our on-premise Meridian system and do the workflow action to send out, in this case, they will be sent out to the portal where the proper people will be notified and they can make the changes, upload, and then portal will send them back into this Meridian workflow for the review to be completed. And as we move into the demonstration portion here, uh, things we're going to be taking a look at, we're going to be looking at the uh, Meridian Enterprise Power Client, which is our, our full featured system. We'll also be looking at the Meridian Explorer, which is the search view print tool or interface, part of Meridian Enterprise. And then we'll be taking a look at Meridian Portal as well. So let me switch over now and first thing we're going to take a look at is Meridian Power, so our power user client in Meridian Enterprise. And documents in Meridian are organized into folders and subfolders, uh, just like you would have with Windows, and we're going to be looking at a couple of different areas here. Our, our master or release documents are all stored under here. Uh, we've got, we mentioned, you know, managing files for projects. They're going to be stored in this hierarchy. But then our documents that have been assigned to projects, they can actually be linked 
to their original master or as built, and we'll take a look at that. And then our linked objects or equipment records are under here. So, and this particular demonstration vault um, is the way they're organized here. You can organize your system however you need to. And I'm actually connected to a Meridian server in a data center. So I'm actually connecting over the internet for all this information I'm, I'm getting. So things would actually be faster if I was running off of a local server. But we can drill down you know, to what, uh, what plant, discipline, classification code, and then select a file. And then once we get to that file, we can see detailed information about it. So for each file or record in the system, we can see, you know, again, you know, the plant, the area, the unit, the system, the discipline, discipline code, classification information. Uh, we can also see other detailed information. And this is the, the property page in Meridian for this particular type of document. And this is totally, in Meridian Enterprise, this is totally configured by you. You can organize this however you need to. And then also inherent in here is viewing. So we can click on a document and view it right here in Meridian. This is a DWG file that I'm viewing. Also, Meridian can automatically generate PDF renditions of files, which can be a lot easier for people who don't have CAD or limited capability on their devices or mobile device. Uh, when you release a new file in Meridian, it will automatically generate a PDF. So some people can see the native, some people can see the PDF, some people can see both. So again, you know, all this information is right at your fingertips on each document. Also, we'll see later on how somebody looking for a document, if they don't know where to browse and find it, they can search and retrieve files and data based on any of these properties associated with the document. Uh, also, I can go in for any particular document, I can see its revision history, go back and view those past revisions. I can see related documents, and we'll get into this more, but here I can see all the pieces of equipment um, that this document relates to. I can also see any projects that this document has been assigned to. Most document management systems have like a check-in, check-out, where you can take any released file and change it and put it under change. Meridian has that. Meridian also has the ability to create project copies of documents, which works really well in a facilities and plan environment. So instead of taking this released or master file, putting it under change, I can assign it to one or more projects and then a linked copy of the document gets created in a, a project folder hierarchy. And you can see this particular document has now been assigned out to two different concurrent projects. And this capability allows you to, to do that um, and then be able you know, to have a document out for, to a project for months or years if necessary while your operation staff goes on accessing that last release, then when the project is done, new as build is updated, you can then release the project copy as the new master. So it makes that handover to get the new release files in place very simple and easy. And then if I, I can click right on this project copy, 
and Meridian will take me to it. So now you can see I'm down here in my project folder hierarchy. And all of this work is done through these project commands. You'll create a project copy, create a new project copy, or then when it's done and released, you have the ability to release a project copy as the new master. Uh, but here in the project hierarchy, you can see it's organized by you know, the type of project. So we've got just a simple administrative change, or we get investment projects, major projects, study projects, and then underneath that, project files are organized in an appropriate hierarchy. So it makes it very easy to, to manage and synchronize all of that information. And of course, then this document is under change, and we can see graphically the workflow state of any document. And then this is an AutoCAD drawing. It's under change. I do have the ability right here to open it right into AutoCAD, Word, Excel, whatever the particular file type is, right from Meridian make the change, save it, check it back in, and then route it for review and send out email notifications as necessary. So that's a quick overview of the Meridian Power Client. And of course, you know, I could go on and on with more and more features and capability, but hopefully that kind of gives um, everyone a good overview of the look and feel and, and basic capabilities that are there from a, a document standpoint. Also, as I mentioned, Meridian allows you to link documents to asset, assets or pieces of equipment. So I could come in here and type in an equipment number. And there's the record for that piece of equipment. And I can see all of the information on this piece of equipment. And this information is typically automatically synchronized over from any in-house asset or maintenance management system that you have. And again, all of the fields of information here are totally configurable based on your particular needs and can be searched and retrieved based on any of, of this information, then I can also go in and see here are all of the documents related to this piece of equipment. So right there, I can then select any of these documents for viewing. So a staff member, whether it's in the office or out in the facility, they can find a piece of equipment and then from where used, see any drawings or documents relating to that asset or piece of equipment. taking a bit longer here because again I'm connecting clear over the internet to this I think that was the first time I fired up uh, the PDF viewing capability so then we can take a look at that now I'm actually using my full client here power user for someone who just needs search view and print they can use the Explorer client which it has all of the browsing and all of the searching capabilities of the Power Client. Uh, also, it has what they call federated searching. So in my particular demonstration vault, I think there's like 330 equipment records, but using my guided searches here, I can very quickly get to what I'm looking for. So for instance, if I know the piece of equipment I'm trying to find the information on, well, 
I, I'm going to know what plant it's in, then the clarification plant, and once I click that, then all of my choices down here automatically filter down to only one, the ones that apply for the clarification plant. Then I can, I know, I know it's the inlet pump, it's in the inlet pump plant, and I know it's a spiral pump. Again, everything's filtering here as I'm going. And there's the equipment record that I'm looking for. There are the related documents. And I want to open this one in the viewer. So you can see how quickly and easy, how it makes it very quick and easy for uh, staff members to find the information that they're looking for. So that's, um, again, that's using Meridian Enterprise. I'm not going to demonstrate Meridian Cloud Business as it has the very same features as Meridian Enterprise, has the same look and feel. Um, the limitation with it is it's uh, less configurable than Meridian Enterprise, but otherwise, uh, it would all be the same in terms of what uh, what you would see. At this point, I now want I want to switch over to the Meridian Cloud Project, and I've already got it fired up here. And let me get back to home. Yeah. So again. I'm connecting to a server in the cloud right now. And when you come into the portal, each user goes to their um, individual landing page. And here you can see I've got a couple of tasks assigned to me. Uh, there are a couple of uh, packages of documents that I need to review. So I, my dashboard tells me I've got some stuff to do. Um, there's no other new incoming packages that are just brand new received. And then here I can see recent projects. If I click on that, and I get my project dashboard. And so here I can see, you know, all of the documents related to this project and how many are in each particular state. And then I can also see packages, number of packages, a collection of documents. And then, you know, everything is hyperlinked here so that if, you know, if I click here, then I just go in and I see nothing but those in process documents. Uh, so here I can see a list of all the documents, <clears throat> metadata information on each one, and I can view each individual document. So let me go back here to my project page. So I'm in this Hagerman demonstration project. Then over here, I can switch my view. So if I go into documents, this will show me all of the documents for this particular project. Basic information on each one, their status, um, some nice dashboard here. I can uh, search on any of these. See, I can see what package each individual document's in and then go right to those packages. Uh, I can upload new documents if needed. Then over here, I can do filtered searches to filter my list down as needed. So these are all my documents. I can also then see the packages that I have. And if I go into an individual package, 
Now I just see the documents in that package. And see overall information on the history of the receipt of that package. I can go into this particular document. I can go in here. I can view it. So I can do viewing and I can do markups and you can see that pops up a new window so I can toggle back between the document information and viewing it or I can go to my next document and then as I'm cycling through these documents uh, if it's appropriate there'll be a button here for me to do you know to accept or approve the document. So can we upload new documents? Also the portal will a lot <coughs> excuse me allow you to do downloads, do compliance checks, generate reports. Let me close out my details. Now here, if I want to upload, I can add new documents. I, and if I pick a number of documents, it will put them into a package for re <clears throat> excuse me, review and acceptance. So again, the portal can work standalone or as we showed, now we'll get back to that, we showed how workflows between the on-premise Meridian and the portal can be set up. So that concludes what I had down to present here today. So as Ashley mentioned, we can now open things up for Q&A. Let me see if we've got any questions out here already. A uh, couple of questions um, concerning uh, Autodesk Vault. That's another uh, tool that we uh, implemented at Hagerman and Company. Kind of comparing and contrasting. Um, Meridian is very much designed for a plant, facility, campus environment for managing the documents, projects, and assets related to those particular environments. And that those are really, as you can kind of see from the customer profiles and industries, that's really where Meridian is targeted. So that's the couple of questions we had so far. Uh, we can wait here a couple of minutes, see if we have more questions come in. And while we're doing that, I don't know if actually if you have any wrap-up information that you could go ahead and give on your end. Okay, well thanks Matt. Um, yeah, I'll just let everyone know that um, if you think of a question later, you can simply reply to the confirmation or reminder email you, you received from GoToWebinar and we can get those to Matt or the or your sales rep to get those answered. Um, once again, we do ask that you take a few moments to fill out the short survey. Um, it will just pop up as we close down today. And if there's nothing else, which I don't think there is, we can go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I don't see any other questions. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and conclude for today. And um, thanks, everyone, for attending, and have a great day, everybody.